Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video I have a motivational video for you. So I'm going to be prepping lots of veggies so we have some healthy stuff to eat during the week. I'm also going to be making my husband some lamb for dinner. I am going to be steam cleaning my grandmother's old bedroom aka the new bonus room. I'm making some green ginger tea for my husband and I to sip on throughout the week. I am also making my kids some hygiene caddies so I make them a bunch of different products. Um, bought some new toothpaste, um, toothbrush holders and things of that nature so they can have their own individual stuff. So I'm super excited to share this with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So first I wanted to start with the green beans. I'm basically going to pick them and then I'm going to put them on a sheet pan or roasting pan and roast them for about 30 minutes at 450 degrees. I just drizzle some avocado oil, salt and pepper on them and they come out really, really good. Boyfriend, girlfriend, fancy car, you're insatiable. You just want more. Climbing mountains, crushing your goals. Thought you put your happiness on hold. Still waiting to start living. You need to know you're beautiful. You're perfect just like you are. Release your control, start and let go. Take a night off and let yourself go a little crazy. Crazy Release your control, let your body go a little crazy Just crazy Next I'm going to be making a salad I always try to make sure that we have fresh shout salad Not shallot, <laughs> salad in the fridge Just because we want to make sure that we have lots and lots of greens And my kids like to have this for lunch Especially Ryan and Jaden, they like to come down and make a salad for lunch and then put whatever leftover meat we have in the fridge so i always try to make sure that we have at least a fresh salad um, in the refrigerator for lunches and to put on the side for dinner when we have dinner around the table take a night off and let yourself go a little crazy Thank you. 
is how we stay. So here I am rinsing off some mushrooms. Technically, you're not supposed to rinse mushrooms just because they um, absorb any liquids that um, you put them in. So technically, you're not supposed to. But with COVID and mushrooms be dirty, y'all. <laughs> so I rinse my mushrooms. A trick to make sure that if you rinse your mushrooms and they soak up that um, water and become waterlogged, um, you slice them and put them in a... Um, skillet and you kind of just leave them and let them cook and um, that, don't salt them because what I'm about to say <laughs> so don't salt them or anything just leave them in the pan let them cook and it will eventually remove all the moisture out of them and then at the very end you want to season them with salt so you can season them whatever seasoning you're going to use throughout the cooking process but you want it at the very last minute um, Go ahead and season them with salt. So here I am going to be sauteing up some zucchini. I prepped some for um, a meal that I planned for the next day, just a bunch of veggies, but I had two extra, so I decided to go ahead and saute them up. Um, again, what I like to do is put some avocado oil in the pan, turn them up to on a high fire, and then get some nice brown um, crispiness on them. And I season them with pepper, um, garlic powder, some onion powder or onion, minced onion, and then at the very, very, very end, I add my salt just because salt will draw them, draw, not draw, <laughs> draw the moisture out of your food and make it kind of soggy. So um, I try to do it at the very end. Follow me at mrslnoble.com and Pinterest. Links in the description box below. from Amazon took a little bit of break of a break the kale is cooking right now and the asparagus is in the oven but I did get a package from Amazon I did go ahead and open it outside because guess what bitch <laughs> coronavirus coronavirus I'm telling you shit is real shit is getting real <laughs> this is not an endorsement of Cardi B I just think that she is hella funny but yeah um I got some gunpowder green tea. I really love this company, Davidson's Organics. I get all my loose leaf tea from them. So far, I've gotten the green tea, the um, English breakfast black tea, and the chamomile flowers, and I love them. So check them out. I will link them down in the description box. It will take you to my website, to my products. Um, shop my pantry page and you can get yours on Amazon, but this is, I think this was only 10 bucks. I switched over to loose leaf tea just because the Just because um, the 
tea bag the holders the thing that the tea actually goes in um they are usually toxic so we've been drinking loose leaf tea and i think it's better than the bad tea so you should try that so yeah i got this i'm about to put this away in here i just wanted to squeeze some fresh lemon juice on that asparagus when it came out the oven just so it could have a nice bright flavor Alright, so I'm pretty much done guys, so I'm going to show you guys what we're working with. Um, this is the garlic that I processed in the food processor. It just makes it easier in the week for me to cook. Um, I just chopped up these vegetables and left them raw because um, I think tomorrow I'm going to be making like chow mein, so I wanted to just prepare them and get them ready. Um, right here we have some zucchini. And some kale, I just kind of sectioned it off because I didn't have an extra um, glass container. Um, right here, I have some coleslaw mix. Um, I just washed it and put it in there and put a paper towel at the bottom so it can soak up any extra moisture. This is for either if we want to put it on salads or if I want to make coleslaw during the week. So that's prepared. And have some grapes that I washed and put a paper towel at the bottom to soak up the moisture and keep them nice and crisp and some carrots same deal with the um, paper towel at the bottom these are just gonna be good for hummus and um, the kids like to dip them in ranch cucumber same deal with the dipping and I don't like to put them on a salad just because um, sometimes they can get soggy and it will create extra moisture in the salad and ruin the whole thing so I just in this container and salad oh, thanks. I showed you guys the carrots already and then the roasted green beans and roasted asparagus so that's pretty much it we already have cabbage in the fridge and I have another head of cabbage so if I need to make that I can I should probably go ahead and make it but honestly I just don't feel like it so I'm just gonna hold off on that and yeah and then we still have a bunch of leftovers as you can see so i'm probably not going to end up cooking tonight i am going to however take out some lamb to make for my husband and then the kids can have the chicken plantain and cabbage and potatoes and stuff from the other night so that's pretty much it next thing we're going to do is go in the room and steam clean it but before i do that i'm going to sit down and take me a little break because i'm tired um i don't know what time it is but I want to say it's around one so i'm hoping to get the room steam clean before the grocery order comes in and yeah i will check in with you guys in a little bit Alrighty, so moving into the bonus room slash um aka my grandmother's old bedroom um i told you i was gonna go ahead and steam clean it just one more time so that's what i'm doing now just um i have some dish soap in there and some vinegar and some really hot water and i'm just going over it um one way and then coming back over it to kind of suck up the um water out of the carpet so pretty much i am going to do the entire room and then the windows are open so it should take about a day to dry and it will be all right to let me Push me back, pull me in, push me back. 
So back into the kitchen I go at this point, the grocery order did come in and I was super excited because I got my kids a bunch of like stuff for their hygiene, um, like toothpaste and a whole bunch of things and I was going to make them their caddies. As you can see, I have them washed and drying up there, but I'm basically just emptying emptying I'm taking all of this stuff out of the bag so I can go ahead and put them away and then get started on making them their caddies I think I can see clear now maybe you're scared of getting burned but if you sit down and A double boiler situation well it is a double boiler <laughs> and I'm taking some shea butter and I am basically melting it into the double what the double boiler so the top portion um, and then what I'm going to do is add some coconut oil some avocado oil and some vitamin E oil and then divvy it up into five jars and then add a um, some essential oils to each one so the boys I think I added lime Ryan I added tangerine and then for Jaden and Shay I added lavender and tea tree because they have ex eczema so um, yeah I'm just making that stuff and right here I am um, doing some baking soda with peppermint oil and tea tree oil because we use baking soda and toothpaste to brush our teeth um, so I'm just making sure that each one has their own and I do have six kids but I'm only doing five because Izzy obviously um, he can share with um, his father and I because he's not really old enough yet um, so that's pretty much what I'm doing right now I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. So next I wanted to make some ginger tea. So this is something my husband 
really loves and he always asks me to make it so I figured since I was in the kitchen I'll just go ahead and make a batch for him so this time what I did was um, I added some green tea to it um, just to kind of make it have those antioxidants and make it a little bit more healthier so I did cut up some fresh ginger put it in there and then the loose leaf green tea and I let it steep for I want to say about an hour and then I just put it in some mason jars um, I think I put something else in there did I I didn't no no lemon yeah I put some lemon in there as well and then I am starting his lamb so pretty much I seasoned it up with um, some salt pepper uh, rosemary oregano Italian seasoning, minced onion, and garlic. He does like a lot of herbs on his lamb, so that's how I seasoned it up, and it came out really tasty. Keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The worst would be and the last thing I did here was brine a turkey for Sabbath. Um, so I wanted to get a head start on it because I like to brine it for at least 24 hours. And that's pretty much the end of today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload new content. And as always, guys, I so, so appreciate you. So don't forget to keep it positive. Stay motivated and prepared. But always keep it real. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. It's over. Should it be coming back? Somehow we connect Acting drunk even though we're sober We should be good but we keep out of fires The words repeat cause we're